Okay, so pick your poison. What deck are you feeling the most? I don't see you use this one, and I'm very curious about it. Oh, I do use this one. I know. Well, I'm sure <gasps> you do, but... Oh, it's a little lynx. A lynx? Yeah. I always think of you as like a big cat. Hmm. So, first question. I'm genuinely curious. Do you think tarot is real? Like, it's the real thing. Yeah, of course. Um, what do you think it is? I know it's a divination tool, and that it used to be a game. Like... Back in, I don't know when, but when okay, they first Mr. came out Wikipedia. with the cards, I will, you know, I remember <laughs> when they first made the first tarot deck, it was used as like a game, like a card, like for card games. Do you know the name of that? No. Um, it's called Triumph. Oh, there you go. There's actually a bunch of different um, card games. You can even, this in this modern day, you can like play them and do whatever you want. Um, how do you think and how would you explain how tarot works? Uh, basics, um... Here, bring your hands over here. Do you want to shuffle them a little bit? Actually, expl explain your thing first. The shuffling might distract you. Mm hmm Yeah, probably. So, every card is a meaning. Okay. And the meanings are in context with the question. Of course you got the magician. The cards around it. And... Yeah. Do, yeah. Are the so cards? every card has a meaning, and yeah. then the meaning changes based on what the question is, who's asking it, and on the cards around it. And then I know that they have different ways of laying out the cards. Some people like to like use... Like spreads? Spreads, yeah. Like there's traditional ways you're supposed to lay out the cards to so every card has a role, but then some people don't do that. And they just kind of put them in order, and they... Read it like that. That's what, that's what I <laughs> that's do. That's what you do, yeah. Um, uh, w do you think that the cards are special? Like, they have a magical element. Do you think it's the person, like the tarot reader, or do you think it's both? I think it, it, it's both, or it's one, or it's neither. I guess it depends on the, on the context. Like, okay, I'll say okay, that's interesting. someone's making a tarot deck, and they don't really believe in tarot, and they're just making fun pictures, and they don't know anything about it, chances are that deck is not going to have any any juice, per se. Oh, really? But if you somebody's think even like, the artist is the person who affects the tarot deck? I actually had never thought about that. I think if someone's, that. like, fully, you know, into the occult and, or whatever, and they're, like, using... They use their energy... Uh, and, and try to infuse it in their work, then yeah, that could totally give the deck a little more, you know, power. Do you think the deck could be saved, though, if it was worked with, because I don't know if you know this, but um, there's plenty of witches and tarot readers that resell their old decks, and a lot of people want to, on purpose, buy the decks that have been used, because they're really, like, charged up. That's what I'm, up. yeah, so, I mean... So but, do you think the deck could be saved if it's used by somebody who's Well, I don't powerful? think the deck is condemned if it's done by someone who, who, who doesn't is care. This, Crumbs. I'm sorry. It's salt. <laughs> it's salt. Anyways, I don't think the deck is condemned if it's if it's made by someone who doesn't really care. Or, you know, I just think that it 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 just doesn't have anything um, until somebody who uses it puts that into it. But if the deck has a little bit of, I guess you could say, like magical qualities to it because of the creator, then you mean the person using that, it? That, oh no, that the made artist. It, then it's possible that that's something that you could tap into. If it's not there, then you then you're doing it all on your own. But if it is but there, that's still you're tapping into separate. it. Mm -hmm. So, but you're asking are the cards magical? I think sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, no. Sometimes they might be not because of the artist, but they could be because you're tapping into like a, hundreds of years of tradition of people doing this sort of activity. That is my question when it comes to people who do. Any, any occult or not even not even that but it could be spell work it could be somebody um just performing an act like of affirmations it doesn't matter what people believe 
is it more powerful if it's been done over a period of time? And if it is powerful, is it powerful because everyone believes it's powerful, so therefore it's an intent and a belief because you know it's been done before? Or ha has it genuinely built up energy that is rolling and rolling forward that carries on for generations? You know what I mean? Like, Well, yeah, it... I think the energy is built upon by belief. No, no, but I'm saying, like, let's say I don't know these cards have been used by, like, three different people, mm -hmm. right? Am I just going to feel it and pick up on it? And, and someone tells me, by the way, this was used by three people. It could be a lie, but I'm like, oh, I believe it, so therefore it does have more power and it's my belief in it? Or is it something where it's like, you don't even need to know it is, that power genuinely picked up over time? It's like a question of, like, is know. it belief it or is it actual energy on, building up? Depends on the person, I guess. I think that... Um... If you sincerely believe, hey, these specific cards have like some metaphysical quality, then and and you really, really, really believe it, then maybe you can make that make that happen. Yeah, I totally. I'm, and it's you actually brought up a whole different point that I didn't even mean to go into, but I'm glad you went there because my initial question was, do you think when someone's reading tarot, it's the person who's reading tarot that's giving? you know, basically connecting and, and channeling the question and the person who's asking the question? Or do you think the cards on their own by default are always going to be answering it correctly? No, the cards on their own are going to, by default, just... I mean, I think that you have to try to, as a person, you have to try to tap into it. Um, I don't think that the cards on their own are just going to do it just by themselves. Even if the person who made the cards was like a full on like witch who, you know, put crazy spells into it or the fact that you're tapping into this long tradition. I mean, it, that's probably not enough. You have to, you know, know what you're doing. I, th I would think. Um, I personally have the belief that it is the person. It's, yeah. it's like, a, yes, the cards help, but it is the person. And that I believe some people might not know what they're doing, but None, nonetheless, whether they mean to or not, they're still channeling it. So they mm. might pull cards, not know yet until they're a more experienced tarot reader what they were actually getting. But they but got they the were, right cards. Yeah, they were pulling it correctly nonetheless. Oh yeah, that could be true. Yeah. Do you think because their intention is there? That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Do you think it's all about intention? What if, and this is just a question, what if your intention is to answer something else, but the cards just keep pulling back? Uh, like bringing up, showing, hey, I'm not in a good state, keep showing you the things that make you sad. Do you think that's like, in, like, do you, do you think it's like an emotional? Like, is it just intent? Is it like the mindset you're in? You could in? be you intending one thing, but subconsciously really be intending another. And what about spirit guides? Do you have. Yeah, you, they could be messing with it as do well. Do you feel spirit guides are real? Yeah. And, yeah. and if you do, how do you think they come into play with tarot? Um, probably help help show you what you need to see, I would think. Do you think they're the one doing all the legwork? Do you think they're working with the person channeling it? Do you think it's like a team effort? Do you yeah, think they're a, a messenger? Yeah, it's a team effort, probably. Uh, I don't know how to even elaborate on that. I don't know. That's okay, you don't have to. I yeah, just, I I'm know. just asking, I'm just genuinely curious. If you do. I have and, no idea. And do you believe that, and again, this is okay if you don't know, do you feel like the person, so the tarot reader has spirit guides, and the person who's hearing about the call, asking about the questions has spirit guides, are you getting your information from your spirit guides, or are you getting information from their spirit guides, or are you connecting to the person individually? Are you connecting to their spirit guides, or are you connecting to the person? Who's, who's a player in here? I can see I asked a tough I mean, question. Yeah, I don't know because I don't <laughs> I don't do this, so how would I know? But I mean, there's no wrong answer. My guess would be that if you're connecting to the person, you know, they don't really obviously they don't know you're connecting to them at that exact time. So it it could be an external force that you're communicating that's sort of like a medium. I would guess because. You mean like be the you're connecting to, to like their spirit like, guides? Yeah, like a conduit to what they're really thinking, or their subconscious mind, maybe. 
if that's possible. Well, that's another Or spirit thing. guides are really just your subconscious mind anyway. That could be true. Then there's another layer to tarot. It's like, are you, you know, like, so someone asks something. Are you, when they, when the answer is yes or no, is it answering it because it's for the person's own good? Is it connecting to their subconscious? Does it understand the future? Is it giving, is it talking to their, like, you know how there's like the thing you think you want? And then there's an underbelly yeah. part of yourself you haven't addressed yet that maybe knows, hey, you don't really want this, or I know this isn't good for you, or whatever. Like, it gets so complex. Like, do you think it's that complex, or do you think it's a consistent, it's always just, you know, you're always only con connecting to the subconscious? I'm sorry. I don't know. I can I mean, see your face. I, I think that it depends on the situation. Sometimes people need you know, a simple answer, and sometimes they need a more complicated one. Agreed. Sometimes they, their problems are a little bit different, so there's, a, there's an answer, and it just is what it is. You should do this, you shouldn't do that, whatever. And other times, you know, when they're asking one question, they're really asking another, but they don't even know they're asking that question because it's their subconscious yes. that's, that's, that, that is really motivating everything, and then it's your job to... To yes. get to the root of all that, yes, but not, but it's not that yes. complex all the time. But some, or but a it's lot of so times, so complex it, is. it gets simple. Does that yeah, make sense? That can, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, that can happen too. And can I ask? I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way, so I'm gonna hold up some examples. Can you can you see it from upside down, or do you want me to turn it your if way? You, if you turn it, if we turn these, I can. Of course, you I touch can see magician. it better. Of course you did. Okay, so my question is, here, I'll put these things your way. Um, and these are some nice cards coming your way. Oh, ignore that. Um, so when you're looking at these cards, do you prefer cards that have meanings that are like this, that are more like, okay, so this has got like a scenery going on. This is more simplified. It's very simple. And then this has got, definitely there's like something going on, there's a scenery, but it's almost so simplified that your brain might not see this as distance. While this is a little more clear, there's distance in room. Is there a card? Do you like all of it? What well, are you drawn to? Are you drawn to colors, to, art style? What's, it, what are you drawn it's to? It's hard to say because I don't know everything to look for. So no, I know no, that I all these cards. Right now. Oh, just to look at right like, now? Like, it's hard to compare. It's hard to compare all these because they're completely different. This one is more cartoony, and of course it's animals. This one is more, it's kind of like realistic. realistic. Yeah. It's kind of like, it reminds me of like, like adventure games or something. Yeah. Like a video game or mm -hmm. a computer game. And then this one, of course, is, the, is trippy Rider Waite. I know Rider Waite's like the original deck. And this one is like a more psychedelic version of that. Yeah. So I think I like this one the best because of all the I colors. I like that you pointed to this one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. I love them all. Um, but this is the one I'm drawn to. Um, it's funny. It's interesting. It gets very like philosophical. So like I picked this card deck and I feel I get in crazy answers from this one. But it wasn't because of the artist. Did I personally resonate with it? Was it my specific deck? Who touched it and how was it affected and how did it positively affect me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, anyways, um, I can't think of anything well, else to original. ask you at this moment. Do you have any other questions? I can always We can always do this again mm. if you enjoyed this. Oh, I don't know if I have any questions now. There's a, I mean. That's okay. There's a lot of things to learn here. I know, I can see you're taking it all in. It's really interesting, isn't it? Yeah. I actually like to read um, this deck. Um, I like to, so with tarot, you always want to look at something and view it like a painting. And so when you look at a painting, the longer you look at it, the more information you're gonna get at it after you look at something for 20 minutes compared to the first five minutes. So I like to ask more of the cards than what even the artist might have initially intended. So with this, these are very simplified, right? 
but I like to pretend the animals represent spirit guides. And I usually, when I pull this card deck, I will on purpose put that intent out there to be like, okay, give me answers, but also please show me cards that specifically point at spirit guides that are animal um, spirit guides mm. so that they represent a sort of vibe or a meaning of whatever the person needs at that point in their life, if that makes sense. Like, I might get spirit guides that talk about the idea of being in the background. So the idea is the answer is in the background of something like this. You know yeah. what I mean? Lobsters talk about um, emotional security and needing kind of like you need, you want to feel oh, like so you're... the animals in here are, are chosen specifically because they relate to the cards? Um, probably, but I view it more as like, I wouldn't necessarily define a gazelle as like a high priestess super wise like a gazelle is more like tactile ingeniousness but lobsters do mean security especially emotional security so that's um, so weird i had no idea lobsters meant, meant anything <laughs> yeah they, they they can mean something um they're wonderful creatures um but the Oh, that's so funny. Oh, I thought that was a lemur. I was going to say we were just talking about lemurs today. But um, <laughs> what I was going to say was they're picked, right? But I feel they have a double meaning when you look into them deeper, essentially. I so, see. Yeah. So with that very loud alarm in the background, uh, mm -hmm. I feel pretty happy. This is really cute. I'm so glad you were down to talk about this. And, and, oh, and yeah, if, of course. And if you guys watching have any other questions yourself or... Um, want us to talk about a different subject or uh, want another part to this, we'd be happy to do it. Um, either way, have a lovely day. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please feel free to give the video a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out like you would not believe. Woo! 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 Um, I will see you in the next one. And, uh, yeah. Bye! Bye.